Hey, good evening, good afternoon, good afternoon, I'm rushing the day, but good evening. Yeah, I am here live, this is Tina the Keto Coach, this is Friday Night Treats with Tina. How is everyone on this fabulous Friday? I know I'm looking forward to the weekend, I know they say it's going to cool down a little bit, and you, some of you that know me know I absolutely love that. So I have a nice go-to snuggle up with your um, person and um, Netflix it type of a, let's say a little, now I wouldn't say it's a dish or dinner, but a snack that you all, all of you, I'm sure all of you love, even those of you that can't use it. Of course, you know it involves cheese. I consider cheese as a, um, a nice go-to keto treat. Don't do it all the time, but just sometimes, okay? So we're going to be making some mozzarella sticks. I'm get, I got the plain old, what they call the, um, the string cheese or whatever you want to call it and everything that I got from the store. This is pretty easy. I, I try to sample. Like I said, I, I, I like coming to you live so that way you can get the real deal. Sometimes the edited versions, they mess up, this and that and everything. And it does mess up, but you can still eat it. <coughs> so I like to teach people, go ahead to cook, whether you're following, following keto or what. It just does not matter at all. As long as you um, just enjoy the process and it's okay to eat it, <laughs> whatever you want to do. But the first thing I'm going to do is make the breading. And you know, of course, I got my pork rind. Put some of these in my food processor to make a nice coating for them. And I'll show you all the process. Last night when I experimented, I did fry it in a little bit of um, avocado oil. That came out pretty good, but some of the coating would fall off a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. So that was a good thing. Um, let me go ahead and season. I'm going to put some Italian seasoning. I don't really measure. You can do this to your taste. I'm telling you. So, I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be, let's just say, two cups of pork rind. And I'm putting two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. I'm going to use a little bit of onion powder. That's going to be like a a half, like a, a teaspoon of onion powder. You know, the powders can be pretty intense in flavor. And I'm going to put about the same, a teaspoon of the garlic powder. And of course, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. And that's about a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to get some Parmesan cheese. And about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And my husband tried them. He pretty much enjoyed them. He's not interested in keto, don't want to do keto, but that's okay. I know some of you have family members no matter what type of regimen that you're following for you, sometimes you have family members that aren't interested. But that's good. That just teaches you to stay the course on what I'm, on whatever you want, whatever you're doing and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and pulse this. As we go along, and they're going to be very nice. I guess panko type keto crumbs. And yes, pork rinds. And if you want to use one thing about the pork rinds, you have to be mindful about. Make sure you're using the ones that are not cooked in any type of seed oil. No canola oil, vegetable oil, corn oil, none of that. Because that's very bad for your system. And besides, they used to use them for machinery many moons ago. So you don't want that in your body. Years ago, they said it was okay. Now they're learning that it causes a lot of damage to the body and to the system so no seed oils so you want to use your animal fats and just maybe avocado oil 
extra virgin olive oil and check the qualities of your oils if you're going to use your plant-based oils also. So make sure they're cooked in um, its own fat, you know, even if you want to use the flavored pork rind, which is fine, and season them a little extra. Because I think there's a company that has ranch and nacho cheese, but the only issue with them, I like some of their pork skins for eating, but some of them they do use seed oils and some they don't. So you have to be mindful and always read. And one thing about following this program, you got to always read what's going on. So I'm blending this up some more. Let me turn it on. How about that? <laughs> turn it on. Stop. Put this on the side. Next thing, I'm going to take an egg and beat it up. Don't have to do nothing to it, don't have to season it unless you want to, but you really don't, it just helps the, um, the coating adhere to the mozzarella stick. So I'm going to undo a pack of these. They were so good when I made them last night. They really, really were. I really enjoyed them a lot. Oh yeah, and those of you that are keeping up with me as far as me having micro locks, I have my second retie this past Monday. So, I'm, I, I enjoy the process, you know. Um, I still want them, and they'll get thicker and fuller and longer, but they go. the process can be anywhere from a year to three years for some people, it depends. But mine seem to be progressing along pretty well. So I'm happy about that. And the freedom. Don't have to worry about chemicals and all of that stuff anymore and everything. Um, I love the freedom of having lots. And it's much healthier for you. Now, every now and again, you know, I'm a woman and we can change up. We can still wear the wigs and do things like that. But I'm choosing just to fly free with these. Oh, here's my other stick. I thought I had a third one. So if you're interested in getting or having a lock, if you're in my part of the country, you know, there's a, a company, a salon called Loving My Locks. You can go check them out or check out um, places around the country. Just put in micro locks, sister locks, whatever ones that you may want. I'm going to take these breadcrumbs out. And I'm going to take my, I have my air fryer with me today. So I'll take this air fryer. So what I want to do first, let me, just move, let me move stuff around, is take my parchment paper. Don't have to be fancy. I actually purchased some of those things that you can put in the air fryer. It's made out of silicone. Don't like them. <laughs> They're hard to clean. And they look really bad. So on my air fryer, because I don't like the non-stick coatings that they use, which are, as you know, problematic, I take, I just smash some parchment paper inside. Make, that, make sure you fold down your ends when you smash in your parchment paper. Fold your ends, and I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil to the bottom of this. Just a little bit. If I had a sprayer, that would be better. I forgot to purchase my non-stick spray oil. So I'm just going to spread this around a little bit. I think I have a, a pastry brush. Yes, I do. Spread it around on my parchment paper. Because you got to be careful. Don't, when you're using parchment paper in your air fryer, 
Make sure you wait before you turn your air fryer on before you actually put whatever it is you're cooking in there. Because you don't want, because it will get hot in a scary way. Not saying it will ignite, but you have to be mindful of that. So I'm keeping this right here. So I'm taking my mozzarella sticks and I'm dredging them in my egg, egg batter. And I'm going to take them, put them in my bread crumbs. Show you what these look like. See that? Look at that. Looks like a regular, authentic mozzarella stick. I'm gonna lay this in here. Dredge another. Like in front of you guys, this is the first time I'm actually going to air fry it. Like I said last night, this just to try before I present to you all. I did fry in the pan, which is fine. But I'm going to go ahead and air fry it and see what we come up with. And I'm actually taking this fork and smashing it in a little bit. Look at that. See that? A real mozzarella stick. Take this other one. I'm just going to put the three, so you all can see, you can get an idea. Dredge that on. And see, I'm just working it around in there. Just working it in there. Oh, working it, see? Just to make sure it gets the breading and the crumbs. And I'm going to see what happens. Let's, let's see. Rock them around a little bit. Get some of that oil. All it needs is a couple of minutes. I know some of you that don't use an air fryer, you don't have to necessarily stick to the, si the time that it's automatically set for. So I'm just going to give it, check it at maybe two minutes just to see what we come up with and everything. So other than that, prayers to everybody on the planet, for sure, with everything that's going on, hurricanes, tornadoes, and the war outbreak, you know. So wish everybody well, you know, and everything that would be good. So other than that, um, just everybody stay safe and all of that stuff. Just stay safe and everything. So forgive the um, the noise you may hear in me in the background, you know. So other than that, that's it. So as far as keto, ketogenic diet and everything, um, I've lost a few pounds, you know, so a few extra. Of course, for me, the process takes a whole lot longer and everything because I guess my age, metabolic issues and things like that, but I'm staying the course and everything. Of course, this is a lifestyle for me and it's very easy for me and everything. Even with um, just with just me and my household, my family members that's doing this. Of course, occasionally I have family members that want to try things and taste things and all of that stuff and everything. So that's it. So other than that, those of you that are interested, feel free to contact me if you have questions or any ideas, something you'd like to see me cook or anything like that. That would be great. I really would appreciate that and everything. And other than that, those of you that are new to me, you know, the history of keto, it was a um, protocol for children that had epilepsy. And I guess later on, they kind of realized that people were um, getting other things helped and cured, like, um, or minimized. So nothing, you know, you can't say it's a cure, but at least minimized. Um, so even kids with epilepsy that were on this program, it was helping their seizures. So they wouldn't have as many seizures, although some of them still had them. You know, same with this. I know this with my allergies. When cold and flu season come around, I don't get as bad or as sick as I used to, and I haven't had the allergies at all in the past few years. But um, I mean, it's easier for me to recover. And some people report that also, that it's a much easier for them to recover and press through, and everything. So, 
you have to contact your doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm just speaking and cooking from my experience, what works for me. You know, even within the program, some things may not work for others. For example, I can't really do what they call dirty keto, where you could have all the store-bought processed keto items and products because um, it affects my body differently. Whereas you have somebody else, especially under 30, the age of 30, they can do that and still lose a significant amount of weight with no problems and no issues at all. And then when I always try to tell people and my clients, before you pick some type of regimen or lifestyle, that it's also good definitely to see your doctor, get all your blood work done, make sure you know all your numbers, your blood pressure, blood pressure, your cholesterol, A1C, blood sugar, everything, and even go to your eye doctors, make sure everything is good. Um, and yes, you can find doctors in some areas that are specific that to help people that are following the ketogenic, low carb, or even carnivore lifestyles. Usually they're either a family physician, physician or they're some type of an endocrinologist that you can see. So I'm looking for that myself now, although I go to my regular local <laughs> center, you know, for my blood work and checkups and all of that stuff. So other than that, so some people are starting to understand. I think I shared with some of you before that I'm what they call an LMHR. That's a lean mass hyper responder. I have a lot of lean mass under what I still have, what, what I feel is fat, if you will. Uh, what a lean mass hyper responder is, is a person that carries high cholesterol, but they have good cholesterol, and they have um, their triglycerides are uh, low, usually 70 or lower. Usually that's an indicator that usually we don't have to take the, um, the medication. Well, let me check this. We don't have to. We don't have to take um, the meds, you know, the, the statins or anything like that. You know, and usually doctors, when they see those high, the high overall number, I think some doctors are finally getting away from that because um, they may have been causing more problems for people by putting them on a statin and it may have been unnecessary. Um, they usually have you require that you go get a calcium score to see if you have any actual calci calcification on your arteries that would indicate whether you need to um, do some further treatment or not. So at this point so far, I had zero on my calcium score, which is a positive indicator for anybody that's over the age of 30 these days. Most people have some sort of calcification on their arteries anyway. They just take it as something normal. But to find in those of us that follow this specific lifestyle, not vegetarian, but this lifestyle, they use, if they, they follow it to the letter and they're living it as a lifestyle, as I keep saying lifestyle, 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 keto, 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 they don't have the issues with the calcification and everything. So that's, that's pretty impressive, you know, that this program has done so many positive things for so many people, you know, for a long time. And I think it's more, um, what's the word I want to use to stick with, easier to stick to, um, because the, the food is out of this world. When you cook and make all the different foods and the treats and things, they're fabulous, you know. But, um, I think the trick is finding something that works with you and for you and for your body and finding a doctor that gets it and understands. If you have a doctor that's telling you they want you to go back to the SAD, the SAD, Standard American Diet, no. Time to look for another doctor somewhere else, you know, sorry to say. But um, do this for you. You check with your regular doctor if you don't have, even if you have somebody that's not on board with it. But some of them are coming around, even some of these um, associations and uh, what is it these are uh, for the different issues like diabetes heart disease they're even starting to admit or well, not really admit but they're gradually saying leave the seed oils alone it's okay to have the meats and everything so that's my take on that and also when you grocery shopping sometimes we're so brainwashed and looking at counting calories and fat one thing about especially keto you need fat 70% fat learn what that is and you want the fattier meat, like your chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken wings. The breasts, not really congruent. You know, some people that can actually get kicked out of ketosis from eating meats that are too lean. 
So if you can afford the fattier mar marbleized steaks, then beef and beef is king for the human body anyway. I would suggest, yes, go ahead and find those. Let me check these now. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I completely forgot one thing. You're supposed to put your um, mozzarella sticks, see, in the freezer for an hour. And that I did. So what I'm going to do, those melted. But of course, we're still going to eat those. Let me um, get some more parchment paper. Okay. And round those in. I'm going to use my avocado oil again. I'm not pulling it over to you all because it's hot. So yeah, see, these are more solid. <laughs> So let's see what happens. And I didn't fold down the ends of the paper. See, we're really cooking here. See, this is stuff, normal stuff. Sometimes you'll forget to do certain things. So what I'm going to do, I have my marinara sauce, but this is actual just plain old fashioned in the can store brand cheap tomato sauce and I'm going to doll it up and you know about the one thing I like the cheap regular store brand is it doesn't have all the the stuff in it it doesn't have the the corn syrups and it doesn't have the um, maltodextrose it doesn't have none of that stuff in there so I'm going to take some of my monk fruit Put this in here. Stir this around some. And I'm going to add, as you know, some Italian seasoning. Some more of my onion powder. garlic powder, and I'm going to add some olive oil, have my extra virgin olive oil here. <laughs> Can't believe I did that, forgot, forgot to cook the ones first that I already pre-froze for you all. But that's okay. That happens when you're cooking. And that's perfectly fine. You know? I'm going to taste a little bit of this for now. See what this is like. Mmm. Okay. Quick, easy. Tomato sauce, marinara sauce. Some people add a little red wine vinegar to make it, but I prefer not to do that. This is just as good. Some people will cook it and cook it down until it gets a little thicker. If you choose to do that, you can do that too. Let's see. <laughs> they melted. But that's okay. Well, I don't know if you can see. See, they melted. <laughs> they went on the men. But I tell you what I can do. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for a couple of couple of seconds. Maybe freezer. Put a little chill on it to chill it down, because I don't want to keep you you all here too long. Let's see. A couple of 
seconds. It's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's soft. They are very soft. See? Because I didn't freeze them. But see, this is what I got. <laughs> and guess what? I'm, I probably put up a um, Instagram thing with the other ones. What is it? A reel? See? Mm. The bottom line, yes, it has that mozzarella stick taste. I apologize, but we're cooking live here, and that's okay. See this? Mm. These are very good. Now, the difference is if I would have went on and used the ones that I already had prepped that were frozen for an hour, they would have maintained their shape and their form. I don't want to double dip. Mm -mm. So at least we know this is why you have to freeze them for at least an hour before you cook them because you'll get this. And that's fine. Mm. And like I say, I'm really cooking and I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> and it happens. Mm. Very good. Very good flavor. Those are looking better, <laughs> much better. So we're going to see what we come up with. Like I said, don't ever be afraid to just try something new. Get the ingredients, and sometimes you can get your own spin. That's what I've learned, because for a long time, I really wasn't the type that liked to even bother to cook. My husband used to tease me when we first got married. I used a lot of hamburger helper, and I did. And I didn't really pay attention to my grandmother, who was a fabulous, wonderful cook. God bless her. I regret that. But some things I did remember, I guess via osmosis of how she cooked and what she cooked, I was able to duplicate some of her, some of her recipes once I got into the swing of it. Because I think some of it, when we want to cook, we become apprehensive because we think it should be perfect. As you can see here, this wasn't perfect, but I still ate it. It was still good. It maybe didn't look a certain way, but it's okay. I'm getting what I need to get to put in my body for my nutritional purpose, so that, which is perfectly fine. Excellent. So I'm going to check on these sticks here. Let's see. Much better. <laughs> Let me get these over here. people one melted a little little bit so I guess the purpose is you're supposed to just let them hang out for a little bit so they can um see look at that see that is so important to prepare prepare them and freeze them now we see exactly why freeze them for one hour before you cook them let's try like these could be cooled off some more Mm. Yes. And no, I'm not going to double dip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Much better. Delicious. One thing about when I fried them last night with the um, avocado oil in my cast iron skillet, I made sure my skillet did get hot enough, but 
and it got crispier. And I like that much better. But other than that, thank you all for hanging out with me today. This is Friday Night Treats with Tina. This is Tina the Keto Coach. And you all have a fabulous, fun, safe weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.